I bet you were wondering how sculpting could be a bit more like an extreme sport. Well, I've got the answer for you. Blindfold. That's right. It's more intense, it's more dangerous, and it's certainly going to result in more hilarious results. Or I'm going to blow your mind by showing you how much of a professional I am. Let's get started. I think I'm ready. Let's hit it. I have done some blindfolded art before. Hang on, have I blindfold sculpted? I've done a lot. I have done blindfold art. No, no, I, bl I picked the art supplies blindfolded and then I made the art. And just in case I get someone else. Oh, oh God. I've drawn blind blindfolded and I've painted blindfolded. But I haven't sculpted blindfolded yet. I feel like I'm going in confident. Probably a mistake, usually is. So this is what I have at my disposal. I have random tools that I haven't decided what I'll use for what yet, and I'll pick them blindfolded. I have some foil and I have some armature wire because I'm gonna try and do this properly. I'm gonna try and make an armature and build the structure that the clay will go on. And as far as clay goes, I've got some air dry, just some basic modeling clay. So just like last time, I'm gonna tape my eyes closed. I am officially unable to see. Got some clay, got some armature wire. But I'm gonna put a lump of clay on the thing to build the arm and then build the structure of the, and we'll go from there. All right. Oh, this stuff feels weird. It's like sort of rubbery. It smells like. Oh, I wanna cut this in half. Do I have a knife? I do. The question is, can I find it? Aha! All right, just laying down a nice flat foundation. I'm gonna put the wire on top of this and build up from there. Where's my thick wire? So I'm gonna sculpt a bus. I'm most comfortable doing people. So the way to do this generally is you don't wanna, like if you're using clay, you don't wanna just put a big lump of clay and then just build it out from there. So what we do is we grab the foil, crunch it all up like that, grab the thinner wire, we bulk out the mass the inside of our sculpture. <laughs> Where'd I put my lump? There is it, found my lump. I want to be able to use the surface to really feel the, the surface of the clay to sculpt accurately, so I think I'll go for quite a large head. I'm going to start bulking out one end, just so it's a little more egg shaped. I think this is probably a good place to cut. So I think I'm set. Let's uh, wrap you around. Bulk up the neck, we'll increase our support structure. Okay, so you remember how I cut my clay slab in half? I'm gonna grab the other half. I'm just gonna pack that around the bottom. I don't even have my eyes open, I can tell this is gonna be good. Oh. Bulk up the head. Down a little bit. Did you take the foil? Are you playing a prank? Are you, I, I heard that. You did, you're being cheeky. I'm bulked. I, I'm swole. I need to be more wise about where I put my tools. It's clay time. So I'm just going to be really rough and loose about slapping on the exterior, but I just need to cover all the surface and then shape it from there. I need to cut this in half so I can add layers. Ah. Nope. Ah! It's just like cutting a fish when you got it. Not that I've ever done that in my life. <laughs> Let's go from the top and middle. Look at this. And I'll just sort of wrap it around, get it to latch on. Come on, you can do it. Ooh, okay, so this is definitely thinner. That's okay, I'll spread this out. Ooh, I have a roller. There it is, no, uh, no. There we go, roller. Flatten you out a bit. That gives me a bit more to work with. I've got quite a bit of coverage here. We're doing all right. How the hell am I gonna add a chin? I'm gonna use this opening here. Just insert some mass for a chin. This is like a surgical procedure, pretty much. Let me know if you wanna see me do a surgical procedure blindfold challenge. Just trying to add a little bit of a jaw. Pop that in there. Okay, all right. I think this is gonna work. I just winked at the camera a bit. That didn't work in multiple ways. I haven't got a lot of clay to work with to do the rest of it. It's all right, there's enough bulk on the clay that I can sort of scrape some off with this little thing I set aside. Scrape some thin layers of clay away from areas like the top and add it to areas like the side. We'll just see how that goes. But that 
is gonna be a bit of a time consuming process. So I'm gonna have to get stuck into it quite a bit, find my flow, find my groove. And there's no way I like to do that more than by listening to an audiobook as I work, which is why I'm very glad that this video is sponsored by Audible. Now the cool thing about Audible is it doesn't matter what I feel like, there's always something for me. And lately I've been really into Warhammer 40K. So there's a huge library of 40K lore and stories that are amazing. And I've just gotten through the first three of the Horus Heresy series. Oh, so good. Now if you go to audible.com slash Jazza, you can also text Jazza to 500 500 and claim your membership today. While we practice social distancing each month, members get a free audiobook and access to a monthly selection of Audible Originals. I've been a member of Audible for longer than this channel has actually existed, and I have not looked back. You can access and listen to your audiobooks anytime, anywhere, from the PC app to the mobile or tablet apps. You can set bookmarks and pick up where you left off from any device to any device. And most importantly, they have the widest selection of audiobooks on the planet and the best quality originals and titles. Go check it out, and a huge thank you to Audible for sponsoring this video. So I'm gonna dive into the right Oh, I can feel the clay already sort of like losing a bit of moisture. I think I might need a little bit of water. I know the studio like the back of my hand. Tripod camera there. Ah! Gareth, you're leaving tripods around the place. Ow! Oh, what do I do? This? There we go. Oh, sh Now I've got to do that in reverse, but with a bowl of water in my hands. Ah! Mother... <sighs> That wasn't so bad now, was it? I've got the water, but before I dive into that, I want to make sure I have all the tools I need. I can make a bit of room. I don't need that. I don't need that. What even is all this? I'll get a circle-y one and a triangle one. I think that'll do. Yeah, I love these. I don't know what it's called, but I like them. All right, hoping that these things will help me make this a somewhat appealing shape. So step one, I need to sort of redistribute the clay a little bit. There's gonna be areas of clay in some places where I need it in others. And I'm gonna try and get a general appealing shape. I'm picking this is a pretty slim looking facial silhouette, but that's okay. I think we're gonna have to lean into that because, is this everything, Gareth? Mm -hmm. This is all the clay I have to work with. Oh boy. <laughs> but I think I have enough clay to work with on the front of the face to sort of shift the mass around a bit to just get the, the basics working for me. Oh boy. All right, so first things first, I gotta pick where the eyes go. So here is, the mass of the head, therefore, bottom of the nose is probably gonna be somewhere around here. So I'll just push up there. So I can move the mass around to shape the cheeks, the mouth, and then the eyes. And nose should be all right because I have to remove mass where the eyes are going, which I'm gonna put right here. Push this into the middle. Bring this into where the nose will go. Push that up, that'll be the eyebrows as well. Now the mouth, it's gonna be a little tricky. Just gonna have to pick a place. Let's go with that. This is the very rough foundational geometry. How are we looking? Is he pretty? That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm just gonna work with this as my starting point. I think this is gonna have to be my ears. This is gonna be a real bare bones face here. I'm getting the silhouette in a place where I'm, I'm hoping I'm getting happy with it. It's hard to obviously be certain about anything when you're blindfolded, but as you could tell, hopefully, sorry, if you could tell, is probably what I should say, 
I'm going for like a an old man look because he's gonna be bald, so I might as well run with that. Bit of a hooked nose, angry expression, because I feel like I'll go with like an Ebenezer Scroogey feel. I haven't got a lot of clay to work with, but I want to point the chin out a little bit more. So he's got a bit of a bit of an underbite. Oh, grumpy old man. Now, I'm, again, I'm gonna need more clay to work with. And the solution is the back. Here's the nose, there's the eyes. Back here. I could thin out his neck. He could have a thin, wrinkly neck. It's all good. He's got to get the clay from somewhere. Okay, so what do we got? We got a head, a little wonky. <laughs> That's okay. He's a wonky old man. I always intended that. He's angry, which means I don't have to sculpt the eyes if the eyes sort of if the eyebrows are low. I could just have sunken eyes. In fact, let's just do that. Now. Let's really sink those eyes in. I'm going to try and see how much of this clay at the back of the head I could just bring to the ears. Certainly have to make some bold moves. It's pretty scary. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely digging into the back of his brain. So, oh, I've actually got a little bit of clay to work with now. Thank God. <laughs> well, that's a quite, I probably took too much clay now. Oh no. I'll give him huge ears. Just like making a little butterfly. Big top half, little, little fluffy bottom half. See, it's a butterfly. I need to work on the features of the face. Make this guy look a little more like a character. I'm going to carve where the eyes will go under the eyebrows just to give me the uh, lower lid on both eyes. While I'm on this side, I'm going to just carve ridge under here and just some wrinkles. I'm hoping that looks like old man eyes. Getting a couple of big lumps, turn them into two little caterpillars. These grouchy, angry eyebrows. All right, I'm just putting, I'm just doing some lines in here between the eyebrows just to Increase the angriness. This is gonna just look worse with, <laughs> with every scrape. He's gonna look so angry. Now we got the angry mouth. Couple of lines, couple of age lines. So I wanna make sure that the mouth looks nice and wrinkly. I don't know if I'm overdoing it or haven't done enough. Add a few to the lips. Make it look nice and dry. Wrinkles. <laughs> just, I'm just gonna go nuts with the wrinkles. Wrinkle here, wrinkle there, wrinkle, wrinkle everywhere. <laughs> See, symmetrical. Ooh, I got a lump of clay. I'm going to use bits of this for details, including Adam's apple. We're going to add some details in now, starting with the ears. Put them side by side. Okay, eyes, nose, ears. Ah, you're in! Ears are in, baby! Ho oh, ho, this feels like a big moment. Probably doesn't look like it. Ah! No! <laughs> We're going for a character, so his ears are just going to flap right out. And last but not least, because clearly you can... <laughs> <laughs> no! Get on there, come on. I feel like I can rough up the texture to make it look like skin texture. Is it working? No, it just feels bad. All right, so I've sunken the cheeks in. I feel like I need some lines. Oh, yes, ooh, I'll do this. It's like making it look like hair, eyebrow hair. Oh, oh, and I got a little bit more clay, I think. Where, there it is. Oh, I got a lot more clay! Lots of lumps. Old people lumps. Got one on the nose. There's a forehead lump. There you go. Another forehead lump over here. And hey, because I've got all this clay. <gasps> oh my gosh. The piece de resistance. I'm going to add a little bit of hair. Just going to roll this up like this. Just going to flatten this out. Just going to cut some lines through the slump. It's time for the reveal. I don't know how I feel about this, but I'm going to in a second. All right, you ready? <laughs> ah, it's really bright in here. I feel like. Shell shocked. Gah! <laughs> what? That's amazing! It's terrible, but it's intentionally terrible. If I didn't have the lumps on there, it would look like an amateur piece. But mwah, look at that. The ears, details. What the hell is going on? That's all right. Thing. I mean, it is and it isn't, but it's, ex it's exactly what I hoped for. And that's really what this is all about, isn't it? I always have to end up a video like that in some way. That. But at the end of the day, isn't that what this is all about? Not really. <laughs> but it's fun, and that's what it's all about. Now, at the end of the day, I actually feel like my blindfolded sculpture is way better than my blindfolded painting and drawing. And let me know down in the comments what else I should try blindfolded next. Surgery, we've just, we've mentioned, that could go well. I don't know, you let me know, but whatever it is, we're gonna have fun. 
And if you haven't subscribed to joining the Arty Party, we'll fix that now. Click subscribe and ding that notification bell so you can join in nice and quick in future videos. And sometimes I do some giveaways and give away some good goodies to people who get in early and hide some Amazon gift card codes as well. Click those videos over there if you want to see some more fun that I've had in this sort of style of video. If you enjoyed this, you'll enjoy those. Otherwise, that is it for now. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time. Oh, so I don't want to see you later because we're with the Don't say that, old man. That We want to see them later. They're our friends. Oh, you're not my bloody friend. Get off my bloody lawn, you, blow, you bastard. Don't call it. That's rude. And I'll get demonetized. I hope you do get bloody demonetized. I don't like who you, you poo. Blah. That's why I do on my spare time. Bye.